Hi, it's Kit with SV Jader. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple animation of an element changing its shape using Morph Animator. I'm going to use this graphic icon to animate some spikes of the chart going up and down. But before that, I want to bring the whole icon in the center of the canvas and make it bigger so we can focus more on the morph animation. Also, I want the pencil icon in the folder to disappear so we can have the whole canvas available for the graphic icon. So let's start by selecting the element folder front and move the origin point to the bottom center. What I want to do is bring the origins of both folder elements to the same position. Okay, select the folder back element and make sure you snap the origin to the bottom center of the folder front element. This is important for the scale animation that we're going to create. Now, drag the playhead on the timeline right about here, 1.8 seconds. Then add scale. And the first keyframe was automatically added right where the playhead was. Now, let's set the duration of this scale animation and drag the playhead to 2.4 seconds and scale down the element to zero. For that, I'm going to use the scale inputs and type in zero for both X and Y axis. We can now select both keyframes by clicking on the segment between them and right click and copy. Select the folder front element and drag the playhead back to 1.8 seconds. Then choose Scale from the animators list. Now go to the keyframe at 1.8 seconds, right click and paste. Now we have the same scale animation for both elements of the folder. We are going to do the same for the pencil icon. Select the group Pencil icon. then add scale. Actually, the scale animator is already added. We used it before this icon. Scroll down, and here it is. Right click and paste, and let's take a look at the animation. You can see that the pencil icon will scale down to the center because its origin is centered. Now, let's start animating the graphic icon. With the graphic group element selected, choose the transform tool, and right from where the scaling for the other element starts, Add another keyframe for position. Then drag the playhead to 2.4 seconds. Now I'm going to place our group in the center of the canvas using the alignment tools. So we have the position animation all set. And now we do the same for scale. Add a keyframe at 1.8 seconds and drag the playhead back to 2.4 seconds. Then scale up to 1.8 for both X and Y axis. That means 180%. Okay, and let's take a look at the animation so far. As you can see, there's some strange behavior going on right here. The short movement back and forth shouldn't be there. It's happening right between these two keyframes and it's because of this handle control point over here. We just have to grab it and place it right at the origins position. That handle appears there because the curved path of the previous transition when the icon pops out from the folder. But this is how we can fix it. Now it stays in place between those two keyframes. Now that we have it all in place, I'm going to animate this graphic using Morph Animation. Select the green line and the blue fill element right below it, and pick Morph from the animators list. The starting keyframes have been added, and now let's drag the playhead to the three second mark. We need to select the Node tool, and while having both elements selected, hold, click and drag over this point here. Select all the points on that position in order to move them together, then drag them to set their new position. Do the same for all the other points. Play around with their position until you get a whole new shape for the graphic. Let's take a quick look at the animation. You can also hold shift while dragging the playhead for a smoother preview. 
what I want to do now is to make the graphic return to the same shape it had when it started. And for that, what I need to do is select these two keyframes from the beginning, making sure that the playhead is where I want it to be. Right click and duplicate. And we duplicated the starting keyframes at the position of the playhead. Let's see the whole animation now by fitting the canvas back into view and play. So that is how you create a basic morph animation in SVJader. I hope you've liked this video. Thanks for watching.